thanks for staying with Facing the Nation. Now on to what I promised you last week, that we would get the usual update uh, from the University of Guyana in terms of what is happening, um, some of what is happening for the first quarter. I know I promised you um, Professor Griffith, but Professor Griffith has an enabling team that is always supporting him. So today we have two members of that team. First off, I introduce uh, Ms. Elena Trim. She is the Dean of the Faculty of Engineering and Technology. Ms. Trim, welcome to Facing the Nation. Thank you very much. So, welcome. And also, Mr. Will Campbell, who is the Coordinator of Youth and Community Development Studies. Welcome, sir. Thank you very much, and good day to our listeners, or viewers. Great. It's great to have both of you, and um, this conversation is coming at a time when both the areas, that is youth and community development studies and uh, the under engineering and technology faculty, there is the associate of petroleum engineering and master of science in petroleum engineering. Um, beginning with you, Ms. Trim, tell us about, tell the viewers, tell the public about the, uh, these two new programs falling under engineering and technology. Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity being given to me, yes. Um, what I would like to say first, that uh, we have two information sessions. One is going to be held tomorrow at 10 o'clock in the morning at the University of Guyana uh, Education Lecture Theater okay. on MSc, Master of Science in Petroleum Engineering. Mm -hmm. That program is University of West Indies program in collaboration with University of Guyana. So that program is designed specially for the oil and gas industry. You know yes. that we are close to yes. the forced the oil. oil. Yes, it's that is what's happening, yes. Exactly. So University of Guyana decided that we have to actually look at the industry and we decide that that is the better option for us right now to offer Master of Science. Mm -hmm. Because um, we have energy sector. Yes already in Guyana, and we have governmental agency that would need have an expertise in petroleum engineering area. So the Master of Science program is actually University of West Indies, as I mentioned, and students have to register at the University of West Indies. Okay. The applications open presently. So these are online applications? Those are online applications. The program is part-time program specially designed for Guyanese students. So they don't have to go to Trinidad and take classes. Mm -hmm. The Trinidadian lecturers would come to Guyana and they will um, teach and lecture on Saturdays and Sundays. Oh. Yes, we have similar program right, uh, right now running. Um, it's University of West Indies project management. So it will be the same, the same uh, pattern, pattern, yes, okay. schedule. The uh, classes are at the uni, the Turkine campus? Yes, the classes would be at Turkine campus. It's specially designed for people who work in. Okay. So assist them, so they have families, they don't want to leave Guyana, they want to stay in Guyana. So. But uh, for the last six months of the program, they would have to go to Trinidad, yeah. to, yes, they have to atta be attached to the industry, they have to take some work experience, they would have to prepare the project and so. What is the, sorry, um, yes. what is mm -hmm. the duration of the program? Because you said last six the, months. Yes, the prog to. duration of the program is two years. Okay. All right, so full-time program normally runs for one year, but because it's part-time program is two years. Yes. Okay. Right, so. Now, if we're talking about Associate of Science, yes in petroleum engineering. That mm -hmm. program um, developed specially for the technicians. Okay. Right, so we're talking about associate presently. We are not talking about bachelor's or so. It may be in the future, but right, right now, now just yes, associate. associate degree. That program is in collaboration with University of Trinidad and Tobago. We will have lecturers from University of Guyana that would teach on the program. Uh, and in addition to it, the lectures from University of Trinidad and Tobago will teach on the program also. They, they will come to Guyana, come yes, here. yes. They will come to Guyana, they will have classes. They might have classes sometimes online if they are not available to travel and so. Well, uh, that program um, designed okay. specially for the industry also, as I mentioned, right? But uh, students who would like to complete associate degree and start working, 
they would have to graduate with GPA not below than 2.0. But if they would like to articulate in the bachelor's degree in petroleum engineering, their GPA should be slightly high. It should be 2.5. So we will um, have, uh, we have our uh, avenues. We actually speaking to the University of Trinidad and Tobago. They have similar program in the bachelor's of science in petroleum engineering. And I know that Guyanese people don't like to just complete associate and just leave university. They would like to also okay. accomplish, mm -hmm. yes, and do the bachelor's degree and then master's and PhD also, yes. What is the duration for the associate? The duration for associate of science is two years. It's a full-time program. Yes, but because we have some constraints presently at the University of Guyana, we don't have necessary laboratory equipment. So the students would have to travel to Trinidad in the second semester of the program for each year. And they would, yes, they would, they have, would have to stay how long? Uh, probably a week in Trinidad. They would have to take laboratory exercise. They would be exposed to the industry. They uh, would have uh, field trips and they um, will actually meet with the staff at UTT, and they would be mentored there. So the University of Guyana and the University of Trinidad and Tobago both involved in that program. So we will have coordinator on University of Guyana side and the coordinator on the University of Trinidad. Okay. So all of this information you're giving me now, because I know you started off by saying that there's a program tomorrow. Uh, we, yes, we have an information session for Master of Science in petroleum engineering okay. at 10 o'clock in the morning at the University of Guyana Education Lecture Theater. And the information session on Associate of Science in Petroleum Engineering would be held on Monday at 10 o'clock in the morning at the same Education Lecture Theater. Okay, great. So if, you, if they missed any information yes, here, yes. they can get all that. Yes. And they also could actually uh, look at our website all necessary information is on the University of Guyana website. website. Yes. All right, great. Because I know you're uh, accustomed to seeing the conversation interchange, but because these are two different faculties, uh, <laughs> yes. we decided to go separately so that we wouldn't <coughs> confuse you, especially to the confuse the potential students. Now we're going to talk to Will Campbell, and this is on the Youth and Community Development Studies, which is also a new program. Mr. Campbell, let's talk. Um, what is the aim of that particular program and what, what, what the program entails. Okay, so the youth development program, uh, two things. Uh, the Commonwealth Youth Program, which was run here a number of years ago, and they provided training, they, they uh, issued certificates and diplomas in youth work. Okay. Now this is an extension of that program, we're taking it to another level. We're taking it to the Bachelor of Arts level so that you actually come away with a degree in youth and community development. Mm -hmm. um, additionally, because of the issues and challenges facing youth and the need to develop our nation through youth development, we felt it was a good idea uh, in collaboration with the Commonwealth Higher Education Youth Work Consortium to professionalize youth work. It doesn't mean that the volunteer youth worker, there is no place any longer for the volunteer youth worker. Far from it. So that program will still continue, though, the volunteer uh, youth work program. The, apart from, the, this new one is youth and community development. The right. other one, the, the, the first the, one will well, still the, continue. The, the youth work program has been discontinued by the Commonwealth. Okay. That, that um, the diploma and the, 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 and the certificate. Oh, okay, the certificate uh, tools. Right, those have been discontinued. Gotcha. And the Commonwealth has seen it fit to take it to the next level. And so we are, we are members, the University of Ghana is a member of that consortium. And so we're not doing away with volunteer youth workers, but we feel that uh, professional youth workers, professional community development workers can um, complement this, this sector and better cater for the needs of of our very large youth population. Um, this program is going to be offered on a blended format, which means that some of our courses will be on campus, face-to-face, -face, and some of the courses will be online, will be conducted online. And that would be, we believe, very convenient for people. The typical youth worker is someone who's already working somewhere. 
and that person can retain his or her job while studying, while pursuing studies in this area. Now, the, some people hear youth work and they think that it is confined, it's a narrow um, area of focus, but in fact it isn't. The Bachelor of Arts in Youth and Community Development covers, you know, in, in a very broad way, areas such as social work, project development, um, community development, um, th th things like uh, conflict resolution. Mm -hmm. And so someone graduating, it, um, and there is some, a measure of uh, trauma counseling and so on. So someone graduating with a bachelor's in youth work has a very wide scope um, in terms of what kind of career he or she could pursue. So it's not a narrow focus um, program. It's very broad. And I wish to share with our viewing audience that this, the, the University of Ghana program is superior to what the Commonwealth uh, originally intended. Okay. We have made our degree broad-based. We've added general education courses to it so that you can transfer from our program to any other program. You can move on to, to do a master's without doing makeup, um, math, and English type oh, courses. Oh, like exemptions. You right. Mm -hmm. So um, we feel it's a very strong program, and so far the response has been very, um, very encouraging. A lot of people are interested in uh, pursuing studies in this, pro in this program. And that is beginning this semester? Beginning in this so semester. So you've had the students, students are, have already signed up? We've something. had quite a few students have already signed up. We, um, I think we're thinking of reopening mm -hmm. application so that we get a full complement of qualified students. Because a number of people who have uh, signed up have not yet met the minimum requirements. And we have, um, we have programs in place that could help people meet those requirements um, and maybe come into the program in September. Okay, how do you, how should people, because again, you did say some have signed up, in terms of the classes, some will be on campus, some will be off campus. Right. Uh, it, do, is there, can the viewers, uh, potential students, go on the University of Ghana's website for information? For yes, under the Faculty of Education and Humanities, um, information is available regarding this course, what, what the requirements are, and uh, they can sign up there. All right, uh, just to be a bit naughty here, because some people, students have experienced this with the University of Guyana uh, before now, and they might be at home saying, okay, to use the way we speak when you know we're a bit loose, um, I hope y'all got lectures for the, those courses. How do you respond to that? Yes, yeah, so we do have lectures for, for these courses, and lecturers um, in this particular program will have specialized training in online delivery of courses. Oh. So this is not your regular lecturer, no disrespect to other, to other lecturers. <laughs> but these are our lecturers who have specialized training in delivering courses so that, I mean, if I'm in my pajamas studying at home, um, I'm taking classes online at home, I don't feel like I'm isolated. I, I, oh. I am able to connect with a lecturer. I'm able to connect with other students and exchange ideas, similar to if I'm in the classroom. And in addition to that, we have the face-to-face -face classes and there's opportunity for interaction, even um, for your online courses. Mm -hmm. um, you're gonna be brought in every now and then to meet and discuss and so on. So. Uh, lecturers will not be a problem for that group. Uh, all right, that is. But we're going to wait until it gets in full swing, then we're going to bring the youth coordinator back, and then we're going to ask not only about the lecturers, but timely grades and so on. Because yeah. students, <laughs> <laughs> I know it's too early to have him talk about that, but these are just some of the little things the students complain about. If I've not missed anything, if you've not missed anything, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you both for coming. Um, the information that you did share, uh, is very, very important. Now, I'm just going to ask you again, Ms. Trim, just mm -hmm. to repeat tomorrow time and location in terms of those who would want more information. All right. Uh, the tomorrow information session will be held tomorrow at the University of Guyana, 10 o'clock in the morning, at Education Lecture Theater. That information will be on Master of Science in Petroleum Engineering. The information session on Associate of Science in Petroleum Engineering would be held on Monday at 10 o'clock in the morning at Education Lecture Theater also. All right, great. And viewers, all of this is on.
on the, uh, the Turkan University of Guyana campus. I want to take this opportunity to thank you both, uh, Ms. Elena Trim, the Dean of Engineering and Technology Faculty, and Mr. Will Campbell, Coordinator of Youth and Community Development Studies. Thank you so very much for coming on the program and sharing, and I know it has been beneficial for uh, potential students. So yes. thanks again. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. All right. Here is this is Facing the Nation. We'll take a quick break. And on the other side of the break, we'll deal with some housekeeping matters. And then we'll prepare to wrap up today's conversation. Stay tuned.